So we, we're told diameter, which means we find the radius. We're told omega 1 and omega 2. And we're told the time. We need to do something to get the angular velocity in the right units, don't we? Because it's in kilometres per hour at the moment. So what do we do? So we take our 10 in kilometres times by 1,000 to get it to metres. Because 1,000 metres in kilometre. So that's 10,000 metres per hour. Divide that by 60, it'll give you 10,000 or whatever it is per minute. And then by 60 again, and we get it per second. So that's the procedure to go from kilometres per hour to metres per second. And so we get these figures, 2.7 metres per second for omega 1, 16.6 for omega 2. We know the time is 7. So now we've got what we've, we've, got what we've been given in the right units. So part A, we're after the angular acceleration. Alpha. So what formula is going to be useful here? Omega 2. Take away omega 1. Over time, yeah. Do you remember we were thinking about time as being maybe delta t, the time for that change? And if you think about it, that's saying, what's the difference? How much has the speed changed? Omega 2 minus omega 1, the change in speed over the time taken, delta t. And we know all of those figures, so we can plug them in and out comes the answer. This gives us this. One or two things to mention about this. At 1... We've rounded here, so you could argue that uh, you could work this out and leave that answer in the calculator minus this. So you could almost do it as you're going along and then divide by 7 to save. Another thing is, how accurate are we going to leave our final answer? Well, we've given it to three significant figures at the moment. Would you say that's appropriate looking at what we put in? Look at the original figures we were given. Look at the significance. How many significant figures in each of those numbers? One. So our answer, we might consider, could only be accurate to maybe one significant figure. So there is an argument for rounding that to two radians per second squared to one significant figure. 